In this video, we are going to teach you some useful phrases for you riding in a taxi. And before we start the video, remember to go check out the Scritter app on iOS and Android to learn Chinese or Japanese characters. Let's start it. So before we start, obviously riding in a taxi is different depending on which city or which country you're in. So we're going to teach you a kind of very broad, generic one that will get you anywhere. Obviously these days people use apps like Uber or DD, where you don't even need to talk to anyone. But we're going to teach you some useful languages so you can use this anywhere in China or in Taiwan. So what is the word for a taxi in mainland China? 出租车. Okay, so that is like a rent out car. And what about in Taiwan? 计程车. Which is like a cal to calculate the ride car. So, 出租车 and 计程车. 计程车. 在台湾也可以说小黄. Okay, so that's little yellow, because all the cabs here are yellow, just like in New York. <laughs> okay, so let's say we're going old school and we want to call for a taxi or get a restaurant to book us a cab. Mm -hmm. What would be the verb? Okay, so the verb 叫, which means to call, literally mm -hmm. to shout. Mm -hmm. And how about if you're literally riding in the cab? Right, so. Okay, so the two verbs there, two different verbs. You can have 坐, which is to sit, mm -hmm. and 搭, which is very specific to riding in vehicles. 搭计程车. 搭, first tone? Mm. First tone. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously when you call, you probably have to explain your location, or often if you're using Uber or DD, they'll phone to confirm your location. Oh, it's calling me. It's, uh, that's weird. So how can we say, I'm outside the school, or opposite the school? 司机你好。我在学校对面 Okay, so the form, the structure there is 在, blah blah blah, the place you are at and then the preposition would be 对面 or 旁边 对,旁边也可以 Now you just said the word for the driver, which is 司机 And another word you might hear 师傅 师傅 And you'd say 司机先生 对,司机先生,司机小姐 Mr. Taxi or Mrs. Taxi Mm-hmm 你要讲一首 <laughs> so it seemed like the microphone wants to get in the video. So, um, other good words or prepositions like at the road mouth, the road entrance. Or uh, if there's like an alley, which is. Or if you're outside like a tube, uh, subway station, that would be the exit. Okay, and finally, if you're outside like a big hotel door. 门口. Now you're in the taxi, you want to tell them where you're going. What's the most basic way to say, I want to go? 我要去哪里哪里哪里. Now, one thing that's strange when I get in taxis is the taxi driver says like, do you have a preferred route? Is there like a way you want me to drive? And I'm always like, whatever, just take me. What's that all about? Because以前常常会有可能司机他会乱带路，乱绕路，然后就会让那个价钱变得很高。所以为了避免这个情况，他会问你说：“哎，你有没有偏好的路线？你喜欢或习惯走的路，让他们确定他们不会让你觉得不
这边右转。And how about like straight on? Keep going. 继续直走。And then go to the end, like go to the end of the road. 到底。Okay. And what about if it was like keep going to the end of the road? 直走到底。And finally, you've arrived. 到了。<laughs> 到了。到了。So all together, 直走到底，右转，到了。到了。And if you've been asleep and you don't have a chance to say all of these directions, and you're like, "Ah, Baba, stop!" What can you say? 停在这里就好了 If you stop here, it's all good. Or literally, just please stop here. Thank you. So now we have to pay the taxi driver. So what's the word for cash? 现金现金 And what's the word for a credit card? 信用卡 Now some other words you might hear when you're paying is the taxi driver will ask if you need a receipt or an invoice. 他会问你说：“请问你要收据或是统编吗 ？”Okay, so 收据 and 统编。统编。So what's the difference? I'll tell you the difference. <laughs> so a 收据 is like a little slip of paper where they will scribble and give it to you, and then you can use that to expense it with your company. Often they won't write any information in, so you can either just make up a number. Or it's just because they can't be bothered to like fill out the details. 对。有这样吗？对。But、um, if they say 统编、嗯、that is, do you have a specific、嗯、kind of business ID that I can essentially we take the thing from the company? <laughs> It gets a bit confusing, but basically, if you're a registered business, you'll have an ID and you can just basically use that. 那如果你不需要的话，直接跟他说不用，谢谢。And if you're feeling generous and you want a tip, actually, there's not really a culture of tipping, especially in Taiwan.、Mm. Uh, you said to me that you've never tipped a driver. 除非他真的让我觉得很贴心、很开心，我才会说啊，就不用找这样子。Right. I just hate coins, so if they're giving me back a couple of NT, I'm just I say, 不用找 Do not bother to return the money. 不用找 Finally, if you've got a dog or a cat or an animal, you might want to ask them before getting in, because maybe some drivers are specific about that. 对，有一些有一些司机他们会比较在意这些东西，所以你可以问他说，请问可以带宠物吗 ？Okay, so that's the word for a pet. 宠物。宠物。Okay, 请问可以带宠物？吗？吗？ Okay, so lots of new things today that we've learnt. So if you're interested in learning better, more, go to the blog、uh, where we'll write all these sentences down, so you don't have to pause the video. And also go check out the new Scritter apps, so you can actually memorize all this stuff we're teaching you. And if you enjoy this video, 拜托按赞、订阅、分享来支持我们。下次见，拜拜。Bye bye. <laughs> this will gonna be a really messy one. <laughs>